If you were wondering how much solar power you need for your energy usage for your whole house, this is the video for you. I'm gonna be going over the different Apollo kits that would allow you to be permanently off grid based on five solar peak hours a day, which is the general number of solar peak hours per day. So your numbers may vary a little bit, but this is gonna be like the minimum recommended size. So you can always go up, you can always add more, and it's always recommended to have more, especially on the solar panels, because those are the most affordable part of the system. And especially back east and northeast part of the country, you're going to want more solar panels, especially because that area doesn't get as much solar irradiance. I'll show you a little bit of solar irradiance here. These maps show the different solar peak hours that you get, the different sun coverage that you get in the United States. It's pretty interesting how you can have different solar exposure for different parts of the United States. So this is based off of an average, so you can't take it to the bank and say for sure this is the way to go. But I wanna show you these different options, so that way it's very clear to understand what's gonna be the system to go with and where you can find it, how much it's gonna cost, all of that stuff. So if you're interested in that, stick with me to the end of this video, it's gonna be really important. Let's go ahead and get right into the numbers. So first things, my name is Ben. This is the Minuteman Prep YouTube channel, and I truly appreciate you being here. If you're here, you're likely interested in finding out what kind of battery and solar input you need in order to be off grid. Now you can also use these numbers if you're just using backup essentials. As long as you know roughly how many kilowatt hours of energy you need to use per day, then this will apply to you. The simplest way to factor that is you take how many watts an item is using over one hour, and you multiply those together. So if it's 100 watts for one hour, then it's going to use 100 watt hours or 0.1 kilowatt hours of energy per hour of operation. So I'm not putting up any ads on this video, so that way we can get right to this information. What I'm hoping is if you find this helpful, you'll consider ordering it from poweredportablesolar.com, which is my website. I get a small commission if you buy from there, and that really helps support the channel. You get all the same benefits as if you were to buy direct from the manufacturer, but in addition, you get lifetime support, extra guidance and extra accessories in your kit at no additional cost. If you appreciate that and you appreciate this video, then I would truly appreciate your support if you decide to get a kit. Or if you need other help with other systems, let me know, even grid tie systems, I can help with that doing full inverter setups. Let's get right into this. There's gonna be 10 different categories here based on how many kilowatt hours is used per month. The way you find this out, this is very important. We're going to base this number off of the last 12 months of energy used at your house. To get that number, you simply go onto your electricity bill online and look up your 12 month energy usage report. You're gonna to go to the month that has the most amount of energy used and we're gonna base it off that because if we cover the month with the most energy used, then every other month will be easily covered. Here's an example of my 12 month energy usage report. You can see in February, I use a little over 2,300 kilowatt hours. Now, that is an anomaly. I rarely ever go that high. And I was particularly doing testing on my heat pump system to see how efficient it was. So that is not a normal month for me. You can see how high it is. And we can see that here by me going to my two-year report. You can see I've never had a month that high. And that was because I was testing in the dead of winter my heat pump system. You can see it uses a lot more electricity. Part of that testing included January. We can see outside of that that I'm actually closer to 1300 here, 1300 here. So 1300 is typically my real energy usage. And I know that's during the winter when I have the least amount of sun. So I'm going to favor to the upside. So I'm going to go to 1500 kilowatt hours per month. That tells me I need around 47 kilowatt hours of battery capacity and at least 12.8 kilowatts of solar input, which for a 400 watt solar panel, which is the typical size I use, is about 32 solar panels. That would be four Apollos, five batteries. So I can see that that's gonna cost me around $50,000 shipping's a little less than a thousand to be estimated. And if I were to do a ground mount system, it's gonna be around $7,700 in order to get that whole system installed. If I had a local installer put this in for me, it's estimated to be $114,000. And I have an actual quote from a local installer 
who quoted me on a slightly smaller system than this for only 30 kilowatt hours of battery and only 12 kilowatts of solar input. So that's like a 33% reduction in battery capacity and like a 10% reduction in solar. And they quoted me $107,000 to get up to what I actually have, which is four Apollos, four batteries and 40 panels, which is 16 kilowatts. The quote would be for $130,000. So these numbers are verified against different systems out there by local installers. And I find that my area is considered cheap solar because we have cheap electricity. So if I were to have a local installer, it would cost me $55,000 more to have the local installer do the system rather than just buying this Apollo setup, which is what I have. Now I have it with four batteries, not five batteries, but I have extra solar panels. So I have 43 kilowatt hours of battery capacity and 16 kilowatts of solar input. And that ends up costing around $47,000, $48,000, plus the ground mount looking at around $56,000, $55,000. And if I were to pay for labor to have that installed, I mean, easily $70,000, which is still a savings of almost $50,000 from a local company, depending on the size that I went with. I would then go to poweredportablesolar.com. I'm then gonna click shop solar right at the top. It's gonna take me to the complete systems here. I'm gonna go to Apollo kits. And so I'd be looking at kit number 10, but see this comes with four Apollos, which is 240 volts, two extra batteries, but I need to get three more and then eight kilowatts of solar panels. So I need to get 12 more solar panels. So this is 34, six, basically. I'm gonna add that to the cart. Then I need three more batteries, as well as 12 more solar panels. I'm gonna change this to 12 and that to three. I'm gonna update my cart. So for the app, for the complete kit, I'm looking at 54.4. Now this isn't cheap. I'm not trying to say that this is cheap. Not the goal at all. What I am trying to show is how this compares to a local installer. All I have to do from here with my system is get an interlock switch, which is also called a generator outlet, using an SS2-50P outlet, which I already have installed. All I do is get that installed in my electrical panel. I take my Apollos, plug them into that generator outlet, and I can now run my house completely off-grid permanently 100% eliminating my bill and still have a system that I get to take with me, an investment that I make once and I get to keep forever. And the only thing I'm paying for at this point every month is my connection fee to the grid. I keep that in case for some reason I need to say work on my Apollos or move them to another location. I'm taking them in my RV, using them in some other way, and I switch back to the grid, therefore taking the Apollos with me and using them in another way but we are talking about using an Apollo system that can run the entire house. You may just be looking to supplement and that's perfectly fine. I've also tested for the last 15 months running my garage just off of power stations. And that has ended up saving me close to $30 a month in power usage because I'm not running the extra fridge, freezer, lights, security, Wi-Fi, all of those different things that I have running out of the garage. I'm supplementing and getting the backup power that I need to run my whole house in an emergency, but just running certain things all the time, so that way I'm saving on my bills. I'm doing kind of a hybrid setup, and still I get to take that investment with me when I move. So you could go down to something like a 500 kilowatt hour a month, which is basically 12 and a half to 15 kilowatt hours usage per month, which is more than say what the EcoFlow Delta Pros can do. They can only do about 10 kilowatt hours a day for their max output. So here I can see that I would need two Apollos, one extra battery, and four kilowatts of solar panels, which is 10 solar panels, which is kit number five plus an extra battery. So same thing, I'd come back here to poweredportablesolar.com, go to the Apollo kits, look at kit number five. I can see it's two Apollos and four kilowatts of solar panels, but I need to add a battery. So I'm looking at 13.5 plus four. So we're looking at 17.5 to do that whole system. That comes with all the cables, the panels, everything necessary. The only thing it doesn't include would be a mount of some sort because every house, every situation will be different there. Now I'd love to help you find the system that's going to work for you. All you have to do is shoot me an email to info at poweredportablesolar.com or you can even call at 800-489-0552 and be happy to help you get that all figured out. 
We can save a ridiculous amount of money by going with this type of setup. And I'll be doing another video on if you wanted to do a grid tie system. So that way it's actually tied in with the grid to offset your electricity bill completely, build up credits. And I'll even be doing some crypto mining with my solar generator setup. So that way I can be making extra money while running on solar. So not only do I save money on my bill, but I'm actually making money that has the potential to be worth 10 times or 100 times more in the future. So that could really help pay for it faster. Crypto mining uses a ton of energy, so this is not a small investment to get into something like that. I have the capability because I got four Apollos, four batteries, and 40 panels. That allows me to run a lot of power, and I'll actually be heating my house partially through the winter for free while getting paid to do it. So there are awesome options with this setup, as well as grid tied setups using hybrid inverters, backup batteries, all of that stuff. And I'm happy to do installations for people as well. It's not cheap. I'm not trying to say it's cheap, but consistently it's about 30 to 50% more affordable than going with a local installer, which is just an enormous amount of savings. I mean, to save literally $55,000 is an absolute insane amount of money to save, in my opinion. So thank you guys for watching. Be prepared. Shoot me an email to info at poweredportablesolar.com if you want help with this. I appreciate you, and I will see you guys in the next video.